Let's face it, computer webcams suck. The good quality ones are quite expensive and the cheap ones from reputable brands just plain suck. For someone that wants to start game streaming or just wants a decent camera for everyday online conferencing or online classes, it's hard to find a good option out there. But look no further, we found an excellent budget webcam that doesn't suck. Oh, and did we mention it's under 20 USD or under 1000 pesos? Hey guys, welcome back to Fixie TV. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a review on one of the best value tech products I've ever bought, the VK Tech USB webcam. As a PC gamer, our precious gaming PCs don't come with webcams built in. So for most of us, we actually have to go out and buy one if we wanna do any game streaming or need cameras on when we're in our Zoom classes or online meetings. So I actually found this camera a while back while looking for it for that exact purpose. This webcam is advertised as a 1440p, 30fps webcam. Yep, you heard that right, 2K resolution. Crazy, right? I was kind of skeptical to buy it at first because it didn't really have that many good reviews out there, but I took a chance. And you'll see why it's a great value in a minute. As the product page shows, it's a 1440p, 2K resolution camera that records at 30fps. It comes with a built-in mic and plugs into your PC via USB. It has two LED indicators, one for power and one for activity usage. And all of this for less than $20 or 1,000 pesos. This is all possible because of the Sony IMX307 sensor inside the camera. I did a bit of research on the sensor and apparently it comes with microscopes and dash cams. So I'm wondering how it ended up in the budget webcam of all places. Regardless of how the manufacturers were able to put in all this performance for such a low price, we'll never know. But you have to see its value and its performance. To test the camera quality, we placed it in a bunch of real-world scenarios to see how well it actually performs. And we tested it against our recording camera right here and a cheap alternative for people, which is DroidCam. It basically uses your mobile phone as the camera for your computer. Unfortunately, we didn't have any crappy webcams lying around because we threw them out once we got these webcams, but I'm testing it against a MacBook Pro 2010 webcam just to show you the difference. So for the first scenario, we place these cameras against light. This is to see how well it manages overexposure. And surprisingly, the webcam performed pretty well. You can still make out the subject despite the amount of sun. I'm quite surprised that the results were pretty close to the DSLR camera in this case. Next, we place the webcam in a well-lit room with ample lighting through a ring light. Here you can see the webcam performed decently as well. But you'll notice my movements aren't as smooth as the DSLR. Now, here's how the webcam compares to the MacBook Pro webcam. As you can see, the difference is quite significant, especially in a dark room and shot like this. Also, most people don't really care about webcam mics because they suck, but here it is. This is what the webcam mic sounds like. It's not that great, and I know people don't really expect much from webcam mics, but just for reference, this is how it sounds like. Now let's talk about pros and cons. As you can see, it's specced higher and works pretty decently compared to other products in its price range. If you don't need to shoot any footage at high FPS, you can actually use this as your everyday workhorse camera. If you don't need a webcam that shoots at high FPS and needs your movements to be buttery smooth, this webcam works quite well for that. It's perfect for video conferencing and game streaming. Not many people notice your movements, especially when you're in a small window like in a video conference or game stream. The value here is really the price. Being priced less than a thousand pesos, even close to 800 pesos, it's really a great value for people looking for just a cheap webcam to start out with. Now for the cons. The video experience isn't smooth. As you can see in a lot of the clips, my, my movements were very stuttery and it didn't look smooth at all. This is probably because of the 30 FPS recording cap. The mic also sucks, but not that it matters to a lot of people. And I believe it needs ample lighting to work well. Now, the VK Tech USB webcam is actually a really good value. As we mentioned throughout the video, it's a perfect starting camera for people that want to get into game streaming or just need a camera for video conferencing or online classes. It works really well as an everyday workhorse and it's definitely worth your hard earned money. That's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and comment down below. If you like what you see, consider subscribing. We do weekly tech content and you don't want to miss that. 
If you have any comments about the video, leave them down below. We'll be happy to hear from you. Anyway, till the next video, see ya.